Department of Agriculture appointed you uh, as yes. the herd Pass keeper for the animals. Yes. And, uh, and no so Mr. Robert Marin is the solicitor. That's right. That's, that's right. right. And, uh, he, 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 he confiscated um, the grants. Uh, uh, and give it, uh, probably he got, he, he the money that was in the grants to over to them. But I never got a children. Ah, they right. So they, they were, they were, po- wow. they were pocketing he, I, the money that you they, should have been getting. You're dead right, Sean. Dead right. So, so Mr. Robert Marin refused to award the grant monies paid down from the Department of Agriculture. Oh, yes, yes. yes. And they were paid, but who oh, got no, them? They were, they were paid. Mm. They were paid. So this is corruption by Mr. Marin's solicitor. Sure, sure it's, not, it's not corruption, Sean. It is corruption. It's dreadful. Yes, it it's, is corruption. It really is horrible. And uh, Mr. Marin also refused to pay your sister Eileen's share of the proceeds from the That's land right. from the land sale, despite yes, the fact yes. that he Department had the same in his yes. possession for nearly two years. That's right, yeah. Okay, keeper. and then he went on to... Did he threaten yeah. you? And so huh? Mr. Um, he said, it's, uh, I, I'm reading up a little bit about That's it, right. and it says he went on to threaten well, he, he, Michael he, and Eileen. He, he, That's he yourself and your sister. And oh, he didn't. Uh, intended uh, to distribute... Mr. Robert Marin seems to refuse to award Michael Gannon the grant money, which was paid down to the Department of Agriculture. They were pocketing the money that you should have been getting. Also worked on services with... So Mr. Robert Marin refused to award the grant money paid down from the Department of Agriculture. Oh, yes, yes. And they were paid, but who got got them? They were paid. Yes. Robert Marin... So this is corruption by... Mr. Marin's solicitor. The funds sure, from it, it, sure, it, it, the land it, sale for sure. over it two years. It is corruption. It's and dreadful. Then, it, um, is corruption. <clears throat> it really is horrible. And uh, Mr. Marin also Gavin refused to pay your sister Eileen's share of the proceeds from the land, from the land sale, less, despite yes, the fact that he had the same we in to. his possession for nearly right. two um, years. That's right. Okay. And then he, he went on to, did he threaten you? I'm reading up a little bit about it, and it says he went on to threaten Michael and Eileen, that's yourself and, and your sister, which was and oh, he supposed intended to, be, to distribute, he um, he well, uh, you know, uh, taken from Robert my amount that was due to be because of Gavin, the, the grant money, stated, which was paid down to child and, and, and that is incorrect because I never Michael owned any animals. And also now, there were people that were not paid also, and Michael is like, for instance, Willie Pinrose, PD, for nine years, was not paid for his minding the farm. By the uh, farm animals, the, uh, right? whilst yes. the estate Robert was Marin, charged Marin for sale, Has Robert Marin, the solicitor from um, the land sale for over two years, the estate assets, and then and um, hired an mm, additional accountant, finally awarded so as a cost of and my eight thousand. Twelve hundred and fifty euros. Mm. Plus when in fact left, we had that there was another we account were which to, was um, quite capable of doing all this work. But this was an additional um, accountant that he hired. Did now, not allow he also um, myself um, did not provide three and any and detailed bill of costs supposed for the to be, fee of um, for his own fee you know, taken of from over amount, forty thousand eight hundred ninety two of euros it stated which he awarded I own himself. And, and that is incorrect because uh, I never the bill of costs any animals were uh, now there were people uh, there was were no bill of costs provided also, for T and N McGlynn solicitor Rose T D as alone was not paid for and, his opinion um, by uh, since. The, uh, while they the were paid an amount of um, thirty-eight thousand, the solicitor over over thirty-eight thousand. Wow. Okay. A year, a year prior to the closing, hired an additional now, accountant. So um, I just wish to say that um, seven hundred and fifty euros prior mm. to. Um, and in fact, we had Mr. Marin closing us. Uh, we wrote to him, and you know, regarding. To, uh, trying to get our money because we were waiting for so long for this amount of money to get our share of the land sale and, and for my brother to get his amount of rent money plus work done and services rendered. And um, we asked him to go, in, in the letter we wrote to him, we asked him to go to the court and to find out exactly how the estate should be, work. you know, divided an up. Mm. And he hired. wrote back and now, threatened us he also, um, with a letter stating did that not provide he was any details. He, he, he uh, threatened us that we should go and get 
uh, more or less take proceedings against him or otherwise get the solicitor and take proceedings against him that. or otherwise he was closing it at uh, a certain the bill date. Of wow. Where that's the, that's, uh, that's no bill the of story of it. So this is absolute, absolute corruption, Eileen. I mean, this is a... It is, yes, it is corruption. And, I, and, I mean, and, and, and another thing I want to tell uh, you uh-huh. is we are having a peaceful pro- they were paid uh, protest on this of, Friday um, and outside Mr. Maron's office in Castle Street in Mullingar. Wow, OK, I right. Year, and it's going to continue, it's going to continue like until we get now. our demands met, which we um, are due. I just wish to yes, say that... Yes, yes. Uh, no, no, yes. It, it makes perfect sense. And listen, Prior well to, done um, for standing up against Mr. these corrupt Maron shysters, because... Uh, we wrote to him and, you know, regarding... To, uh, trying to get our money because we were waiting for so long for this amount of money to get our share of the land sale and, and for my brother to get his amount of grant money plus work done and services rendered. And um, we asked him to go, in, in the letter we wrote to him, we asked him to go to the court and to find out exactly how the estate should be, you know, divided up. Mm. And he wrote back and threatened us with a letter stating that he was closing us, or he 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 uh, threatened us that we should go and get uh, more or less take proceedings against him, or otherwise get a solicitor and take proceeding against him, or otherwise he was closing it at a certain date. Wow. And that's the. That that is the story about it. So this is and absolute uh, absolute corruption, Eileen. I mean, this is a it go- is yes, it is corruption. And I and, and I, I mean, and, and, and another thing I want to tell you uh-huh. is we are having a peaceful pro- uh, protest on this Friday, and outside Mr. Maron's office in Castle Street in Mullingar. Right. And, and it's going to continue. It's going to continue until we get our demands met, which we are due. Yes, yes. No, no, yeah. it, it makes perfect sense. And listen, th- well done for standing up against these corrupt shysters, because... Shout all you want. Protest all you like. Shout all you want. Protest all you like.